I'm sure there are many different definitions that are used of a power woman, but it's a woman who's accomplished, extremely accomplished in some way. My father played the violin beautifully. And I begged him for lessons and all through school until I went to Juilliard. I played violin in the school orchestra because I love being part of a big group. And I guess that's where my interest in conducting arose because I later studied conducting and was trained to be one. But that's another story because women weren't allowed to do that in those days. So I was the only woman in my conducting classes at Juilliard. Trying to be a conductor as a female was a really lost cause. One time when I was conducting for a modern dance company that I had worked with as a pianist, but they would decided to have a small orchestra for their performance. And they said, well, you know, we want you to do it, but we don't want anybody to see you. So we'll put you in the pit. But besides that, you must dress in a man's tail and and put your hair in a ponytail so they can't tell from the back that you're a female. After I finished my master's, I applied to the Board of Ed for a job to take the exam as a, a music teacher in the New York City public school system because I've lived in this city all of my life in all five boroughs, incidentally. Uh, and when I went down for the exam, I was told well, you want to take the choral conducting exam. And I said, no, I'm trained as an instrumentalist, as a, you know, as a symphonic and band conductor. And they said, well, we won't give that to you because you're a female. Your progress is slow. As long as there's progress, I guess we have to be grateful. But I think ultimately, women of my generation were paving the way for younger women to gain some of the inroads that they've attained by now.